Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be talking about this uh, subprocess startup error in Python. So I downloaded a Python version of 3.7 and I installed it also. But uh, while launching the ideally, uh, it threw me some error, which was like subprocess startup error. So I tried to solve it. There are multiple fixes for this error. So some people found it like just running the ideally as run as administrator. Whereas some people have deleted the corrupted uh, py files from the parent directory. So they just go through, go to the uh, parent directory of Python where it is installed and they delete some py files. Uh, but I couldn't uh, solve it by both this method. So I found uh, another solution, which is like you have to manually set the permission for in firewall for this uh, Python. So you can see this is the error which pops up when you run the shell. So if you can see here python gy if i run it throws the error so you can see this so this one happens the python is installed but still ideally cannot start so what i have done is i went to the control panel here so after going to the control panel you can see here system and security so i go to the system and security and here you can see the option allow an app through windows firewall so I went to this option and you can see here, you can actually search for Python here. So in my case, there is no Python in this list. So that's why the firewall is blocking it. So I went to this change settings option. And here you can see at the bottom, allow another app. So I went to this another app and I browsed it through this path. So you can see. I can navigate it from here, local disk C. Then I installed it in the C drive only, but some people have installed it inside the uh, user and other things. So you can all, wherever it is, you can search and go to that location. So mine is in the C drive only. So I'm going to the Python 27 and you can see here, I have to locate the Python W file. So for safety issues, so I have actually also located the Python file as well. So open it just click on add so you can see here python w has been added and public and stick so let me put it as uh, private and public both and let me add the uh, another one also so here let me add python also here python.exe so exe files has to be added so i have added both so you can see both of them has been made public and made. now let me put ok here so now if i run this ideally you can see it will run so C can run. So let me show you an uh, file. See, I have created a folder called Python codes. So I have put an uh, example code here, script here. So if I run, it opens up. You can go to run, run module. So you can see ideally is working. So this may happen when you are downloading it. So let me tell you like when it is this suffix is useful because uh, some people are uh, uh, having this issue during uh, the running only. I mean, they are using the Python for a long time, but still they are getting this error. In that case, they can go with this second approach where you can delete the py files. So you can see that also here. So where to go? Go to C drive, Python. It is in my C drive here. And you can see this area. This is a parent directory for Python. So here you can see the application file to application file. So sometimes it may happen that you are saving all your codes in this area only so those are those will be named as py files but i have made a separate directory for those codes so i have put it here so you can see python file these two so like these files may appear here so those files has to be deleted or the which one is corrupted if you know the latest one that you can delete or change the directory of that file then it will run so that that is taken care by the second option but if you are installing it for the first time even then this error comes up I think it might it might be the uh, fault in firewall settings only. So better follow the step which I have mentioned. It should be fixed. So I have also mentioned the steps in this uh, uh, slide. So you can read through one by one and you can get it done. So thank you.